In this video, I'm going to show you how you can eliminate the transparency around some transparent PNG files. Uh, what's happening is people are resizing their image to what they think is going to print and cut at four inches or how many ever inches, and it's coming out far smaller than that. And the reason for that is because of the transparency around the image. So let me zoom out here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I have this PNG file. It already has the cut line around the cow, okay? But if I size this to four inches, what it's basing that size on is this box, not the image itself. So we need to eliminate all of this space. So if I come over to my layers panel and I open this up and I choose my print layer, I can come to the trace window and I can choose under edit mode, crop, and then I can just grab these little black boxes by left clicking and dragging it down and over. And sometimes it's a little temperamental, so what I just suggest is clicking on it and waiting a half a second or so and then dragging it, okay? And then um, you can check your preview and make sure that your cut line is um, nice and smooth. You can turn your source image down and you can zoom in and make sure that your cut line is nice and smooth, which it is. But if it's not, then you're going to want to lower your contrast and update your preview and check it again, okay? So then I can go ahead, I'm going to add the image layer here because I don't want to create any kind of sizing issues between this image and this image. I would just as soon use a whole new one. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then when you can see the difference now, if I size this one to um, four inches, which it already is, okay, and this one is four inches, you can see how much um, bigger this one is going to be. So this is actually based on the width, not the height, but they are both four inches wide, okay? And... Uh, so it's going to print more true to size than what this is, okay? So I have another image here that I actually clipped. Um, so if I try to duplicate this and I choose either rows or columns, you're going to see that the clipped image shows up. So what I did was actually pretty much took this image and filled this text with it. All right, and then what happens is it actually leaves this image behind. You just don't see it. It's transparent, okay? But you can't do to this image what I did to this image. What you need to do in this case is um, you can draw out a square, and let's say I want it to be four inches wide. So I'm going to go ahead and choose four inches wide. And I'm going to uncheck the proportions and make it four inches high as well. Okay, and then um, I'm going to come to my fill and stroke, turn the color to none, and I'm going to make this a nice bright pink so it's easy to see. And I'll increase the width a little bit. Okay, so here is my four by four inch square. Now I can take this image and place it inside here. Hold shift when I um, drag it out, okay? And I can fit this inside that four by four square. Of course, my height is more than my width. So I get that set like that. And then I can just go ahead and come over here and Make sure I have the right layer, delete that square. Now, if I select this and I sh come to my uh, size, you can see it's seven 
by almost four, but my print and cut size is only about four inches high. All right, so that's a couple of scenarios of images um, that you might run into and how to get rid of that space so that your image prints and cuts more true to size. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And, um, you know, you can find me in the Facebook groups also that are, uh, there's links for those in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.